Jelly, can I? No, no, my controls are working. Okay, um, yeah. We are back with uh, Learn Japanese to Survive. For everyone who's interested, uh, where am I? Okay, I, I, I don't have any idea how the controls, controller is working. But yeah, last time we captured the dog. Right, I remember. So yeah, I hope everyone who wants to actively learn it with me has uh, something to write on and something to write with. And then we can go. So last time we checked... Am I recording my mouse too? Nope. I don't need my mouse. But I should go in here. Yeah, I'm uh, back at learning Japanese again. With a game. Um, let's see, my quests... No quests at all right now, okay. So we continue with a new lesson. So we start with lesson three. We should learn the new, uh, some new hiragana, I guess. How was your day in town? You must be ready to continue. You can now explore the world map and travel to our next destination. Heat north out of town to view the world map. We want to visit the. <laughs> we want to visit the. Uh, we want to visit the Castor Marsh next. Leona and I are ready this time. We won't let you down. Let's do it. Okay, maybe we. We practiced last the the yeah the hiraganas we practiced last time is what we need today. So this is Customarsh. I lived in Snowleaf Village my whole life, but I've never come near this place. Why would you need to? This place is super boring. Maybe it was boring in the past, but now it's full of dangerous hiragana warriors. It's the best way we stay alert. You read my mind clear. We'll go clear up the Hiragana Warriors as we go. By the way, if you're in a hurry, you can dash by holding the shift key while moving to right out. Oh, one more thing. Volan or P HP or someone has been knocked out un has been knocked unconscious, return to town instead then. It will restore us back at f to full health. So for everyone who was missed last stream, basically, um, oh, chest. Have fun. Uh, basically, we encounter some monsters which we can't normally attack. Because we need to attack them with an answering what these are. For example, this is a gar and this is a goo. If we attack them any otherwise with a wrong answer, like. Let, let's just show it again with a car. You guys can see. I'm missing the fast forward. As you can see, the goo makes damage. The car is now a miss, it took no damage. And that's how you learn to reach those hiraganas. You now keep on taking the down lower one. I'm still missing a fast forward option in here. Nice, as calculated. Wish you also a lot of fun, Sanji. Oh, we learned some spells. So let's see, we go with skills. Can I... A weak healing spell. Cost me all of my MPs. Okay, great. Um, our quest is not available. Always dash off. Keyboard config. Okay, we, we're, we're not going to change anything. We just keep looking around, hoping to find some valuable chests. <coughs> and keeping off the monsters. So 
So this is definitely a Ko. And the other one is a Ku. As the game continues, we're not, we won't be only learning uh, learning to write and read hieroglyphs. We will also learn uh, some vocabularies. Damn it! So yeah. Actually, it's quite annoying that I literally have no MP points, mana points. But here we go. Wait, did a message occur? No. Still wanna. Okay, this this message was kind of valuable to send out. Okay, let's move back to. Of course, we we try to be a little bit extra carefully with taking a look at our surroundings. Because uh, in chests there can always be very valuable equipment. Also, I kind of feel like I'm blocking out uh, Leon with his 29 HP. But as calculated, we managed to kill the key. Whoops. So these hands are quite easy for me to handle, but it's actually struggling when it gets to the later, to the later your gunners. It's only cash. I mean, cash is also valuable, so I don't have to grind it for myself. But still, damn it. And let's think that should be the K and the Go. Actually, I'm struggling a little with the K. Signs I'm not used to using this sign in my free time or whatever. I made a mistake. Oh, whatever. It's not like I would have killed it before. I actually expected to have more HP when I'm done. Oh, never saw of finishing him. It should actually be enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Do I have some items to use? And I'm gonna restore so some HP. Some is good. Study guide. Here we have our vowels and our car. Weapon, armor, key items. Okay, we, we, we leave it as it is. Oh no, it looks like the bridge is out. <coughs> no sweat, I bet with some solid logics I could build a bridge to help us cross. Really? Well, if you know how, I'll give you a hand. It's sorted then. Let's hunt around for some strong locks. Three good locks should be enough. But where to look? Here, as she figured out how to get to these. Ah, uh, let me guess, and all the plants are suddenly removed out of magic. Damn it. So we have a gi and a ge. It's a gi and a ge. We're gonna smash everything on once anyway. Because we need three attacks at least To kill one enemy. Except for Eric and Leon, they are both powerful enough combined to kill one on their own. 
But this leaves us no matter how we play set the game. In this kind of situation. Hm. One more fight and we have another level up. Obtain three times Ramble. So we have a Kuo and we have a Ge. The Q is going to go down like this and the gear will uh, be attacked like this. Can I click out? Yeah, I can click peacefully out without interrupting the game. Wait, what did I answer? Cigar, that's for sure. I actually answered with a goo. Cool. God damn it. That's so horrible. I think we should retreat for now. Uh, the chest was open. What did I get out of the chest? Oh look, I can I can simply press optimize and everything is fine. Okay, let's try to get out of town. Or back to town, whatever. <coughs> can I escape peacefully? Nice. We don't want to get one of our characters underleveled for no reason. We're just gonna sleep a little round. Peaceful melody incoming. And back to the top. Whoops. Nice top. That's something I gotta say. Okay. So hopefully we're not losing anyone yet. So here we go again with our difference of P. And key. And still, oh, oh, this is bad. Because now the creature which Eric should attack is no longer available, and the attack that he made is going to be invalid. But I don't think that this is quite a big pro problem. So we go with our first one. This looks like a good lock. Let's take it with us, obtain one lock and another lock. And now we have to run all the way back again. So we have a gi and a gear. They're continually sending us to fight these creatures. We are bound to learn it earlier or later. And off the first one goes, they will get out counter attack. And off the second one goes. Easily done. Mm, damn it. It's a coup. That's. One Hiragana was a death wish. And off you go. Uh, it's a go and a ga. So we go with go. And then we go with ga. The problem is, as more hiragana's appear, 
as harder it gets to navigate through all the hiragamas. Uh, you will see what I mean when it's time to come to this. Looks like we have enough locks to build a bridge. Let's work together. Phew, done. Great, thank you. Onward. You can send a strange phone near me. Would you like to save the game before you continue? Oh, that's quite easy. It's convenient. What is this place? This never used to be here. I wonder, could this be where the Hiragana warriors are being summoned from? It must be, right? What else could it be here from? Maybe that Japanese magic guy, just like Strange Lawn Art. I sense something powerful near me. Maybe we should come back some other time. Uh oh, no time for that. Watch out! It's Nobudo! <laughs> How sweet. You come for another round of punishment. Nobudo. Misaki, what do we do? This guy kicked my butt last time I fought him. Just stay calm. Together we can do this. I'm ready to take him down. You can count on me. <laughs> Have carriages. Let's see what you've got. Noburu summoned allies. Everyone, listen very carefully. Don't let attack Noburu. Only attack the Hiragana warriors. We are not yet strong enough to defeat Noburu, but if we defeat enough of his summons, we can deplete his energy and live to see another day. Now do your best. Actually, I wanna... Just out of curiosity. And we go with the car on the last one. Okay. Yeah, Nobudo took no damage. <coughs> of course, I, I can't damage a human by calling his name. Actually, you would have to answer with a no on him. Nobudo summoned a new ally. It's an E. So we go with a car, but the car took already damage, so we go two times on E. Whoops, that's not the E. And then we're just gonna hit another car because I don't know what else I should attack. No, but I summoned a new ally. I knew it. I just didn't know how to respond to it. No, but I summoned a new ally. So we go with two times on the coup. Whoops, that's not the coup. It's also not a coup, it's a goo. My bad. And then we go with attacking a goal. That's also not the goal again. Did I even attack what I wanted to attack? Goo. Goo, goo, go, 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 go. In the early states of the game, it's quite easy to figure out which one to attack. If they have these two strokes, these I totally forgot what how they're called, the Dakuten. Then, uh, that's definitely starting with a G. Noburo fled the battle. He actually could have summoned some other Hiragana warriors, but never mind. Phew, he's gone, at least for now. That was exhausting. At least we were able to deal with the Hiragana warriors, right? We definitely learned a lot so far. We'll get him next time. We should head back to town and rest for today. Tomorrow we start learning the next set of Hiragana. Come talk to me in town when you're ready. Would you like to save the progress so far? Yes. <coughs> so, before we continue with the next lesson... Um, I wanted to ring a little bit. <coughs> okay. And my mouse is going to annoy me again. Hello again. What would you like to do? We would like to continue with the new lesson. Welcome back. Let's carry on with the next lesson. I have something special prepared for today's lessons. Before we study more Hiragana, we're going to learn some Japanese vocabulary. Oh, there we go. Let's learn some Japanese vocabulary. For this I have a small vocabulary book. Just to write down everything. <coughs> 
To give you a break from nearing your Regana every lesson, we will mix it up and learn vocabulary every now and then. We cover 10 new words each lesson. As we go, we will demonstrate how to read and pronounce each word. You see how to write each word in Hiragana based on the Hiragana we know so far. I'll show you our first word and demonstrate how these vocabulary lessons work. Hey! Let's break down the text above. The first line in, bl in blue is how to write the Japanese word in Romaji. Hi! Romaji is a system designed to transcribe Japanese sounds using the English alphabet. Or the German, or the... whatever. <coughs> Romaji is very common and there's a good chance you've come across it before. Words that are borrowed from Japanese use Romaji. Think of words like Tsunami, Karaoke, Sensei, ETC. Romaji is super simple and easy to read as you learn more Hiragana and gain an understanding of the syllables used in Japanese. You will be able to write words in Romaji as well as Hiragana. For the vocabulary we are learning, you can use the Romaji reading until we learn all the other relevant hiragana. Which brings me to the next line, written in black. This is the hiragana reading of the word. As lessons get more advanced and you learn more hiragana, these words will become entirely written in hiragana. So, since we are only read, learned the vowels and the karo, ka hiraganas, we only know the I hiragana, and that's why this is the only hiragana when we translate hi. When there are syllables used that we haven't learned yet, I just display the romaji. Ah, I, I, I didn't have to explain it. So in our example above, you see it as ha i. We haven't learned the hiragana for ha yet, but we learned I. We, we learned i. The dashes in between are just symbolized, the gap between each syllable. You don't need to actually write these in Hiragana or Romaji. <coughs> uh, let's drink some water. And finally, our third line in orange is the English translation of the word. So the example above teaches us that the Japanese word hi means yes in English. Awesome. I finally got to the point where I wanted to do last three. <coughs> Let's just let me write it down because I can. Hi. Yes. <coughs> Next I'll discuss how to pronounce it properly. Hi. This sounds like hi or hi. However, remember how e sounds like e? The word hi is actually pronounced hi. But since Japanese and language spoken at a rapid pace, the syllables tend to merge. The general rule of thumb when speaking Japanese is that the sense of syllables do not change, regardless of what syllable they follow or precede. <coughs> we all know that English words can change pronoun pronunciation, pronunciation goddammit, in strange ways, and may not even pronounce as they are written. However, in Japanese, every syllable has a specific pronunciation, and it's the same in every word it appears. There are a couple of little exceptions, but nothing to be concerned with at this stage. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation of hi again? Hi. 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 Okay. Continue with the lesson. <coughs> Let's look at our second work. This is ie, which means no. Let's just write it down. Yeah. No. This is an interesting word because it's made up only of vowels. When dealing with repeated vowels such as E, you draw out the length of the sound. It's not quite the same as repeating the vowel twice. Listen carefully to the example pronunciation. Would you like to? Yes. Yeah. 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 Continue those lesson. Okay, I think I think I got this one. Watashi. Watashi, as a Japanese word for I, used when referring to yourself. It's not substitute for the letter I. Watashi. I. 
You use what she often in conversation when talking about yourself. It's a formal and polite word. There are more casual words used to refer to yourself in Japanese, but they are safe for chatting with your friends and family. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? Yes. Watashi. 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 Okay. I think I got this one too. Ready for what for? No. Anata. Anata. You. Anata is the Japanese word for you, used when referring to the person you are talking to. You can use this word in conversation when talking about your conversation partner. However, it can be considered rude to use it in the wrong context. Most of the time you refer to people by their name, even when talking directly to them. It sounds weird in English, but it's normal in Japanese. Anata. 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 Quite easy. <coughs> Where you word for a five? The rest of the words in this lesson are for objects used when studying. Look around now. Hopefully you have most of these things handy. Pen is the Japanese word for pen. Who knew? This is a word that has been borrowed from English. Pen. 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 It's an easy word. It's even pronounced the same. When you write words borrowed from other language in Japanese, you wouldn't normally see hiragana. Instead, you use a set of characters called katakana, which are specifically for foreign words. However, since the software is about learning hiragana, we will write borrowed words like pen in hiragana and romachi. Would you like? Yeah, one more time. Pen. pen. Ready for what? Six, oh, goddammit. Enpitsu is Japanese for pencil. Enpitsu, it's a bit of a mouthful, so listen to the pronunciation a few times and practice saying it slowly. Enpitsu. 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 Okay, I think I've got this one right. Enpitsu. Pencil. Enpitsu. I'm a little bit confused with the German words. Was the pencil the Bleistift? Question mark. Ready for what seven? Yeah. Tsukue. Oh god damn it. Tsukue is Japanese for desk. Yeah. Tsukue. Desk. Yeah. Tsukue. Am I pronouncing it correctly? <coughs> Ready for word eight. Isu is Japanese for chair. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? Isu. 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 <coughs> should be should be doable. Isu. Chair. Don't forget to write it down. Oh. Hon is Japanese for book. Ah, I, I do know this one. Hon. Book. <coughs> oh. Would you like to listen to the pronunciation again? Yes. Oh. Hon. Oh. Hon. Oh. Hon. Oh. Hon. Oh. Hon. Hon. I, I'm pronouncing that different every time. Whatever. Noto. Noto. It's Japanese for notebook. Noto. Notebook. It's something I'm currently writing on, right? Noto. 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 Let's, let's go with notebook. What do I get? Notebook. Notebook. Noto. Notebook is a laptop. English. Ah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a notebook. <coughs> Continue with the lesson. That's the end of our first vocabulary lesson. You know, ten Japanese words that are going to be very useful.
Well done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yes. <coughs> We're going to move on to the next Uragano lesson, so before we go, we save. It's time to learn our third set of Hiragana characters. There's five new characters to learn in this lesson. <coughs> I will go through each character in the yeah, yeah, we, we know this one. The characters we are learning in this lesson are Sa, Shi, Su, Se, and So. These characters follow our patterns of A, I, U, E, and O. The slightly exception is that is she, which adds some soft H sound. God damn it. <coughs> Here's our first new character. Sa. Sa. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. You pronounce it as Sa. 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 Let's practice writing it. No, I don't need my vocabulary book anymore. Controller. Go away. I'm also more familiar with the combined version, by the way. It's like like a chone there. Not with this arrow thing. Practice writing the correct now. Sometimes tilt the horizontal line properly. Like the like key in the number of strokes varies depending on the font. Use the form and from the animation as best practice. Is he writing again? So. So. I'm just gonna write it down a few times. And then it doesn't look that bad anymore. Oh this one was horrible. Let's start a new row. This looks more conveniently. <coughs> sa. 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 Okay. <coughs> Get ready for the next character. Si. This is she or she. <coughs> Damn it. My throat is getting dry. It's consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. You pronounce us as she. 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 This one's quite easy. One more time. Practice writing the character now. Sometimes this character is made in just one stroke. The vertical line is straight, but make sure you curve it correctly at the bottom. For everyone, here's the. Damn it. I'm, more, I'm, I'm drawing it more like a fishing hook if I, when I see it like this. Uh, let's just show me one more time. Oh, this one was terrible small. Okay, let's go for the pronunciation. She. 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 Get ready for the next character. Su. So, this is su, a uh, su. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. You pronounce this as su. su. Let's practice writing it. <coughs> so it goes horizontally, goes vertically with a tilted line. Oh god, this is, looks so horrible on my notebook. It's written in two strokes, the tail at the bottom cuts slightly after the loop. Oh, this one was beautiful. This one not. Where am I even starting there? Okay, let's just... So, if I'm too fast, uh, you can later... And we watched the video on either on Twitch or YouTube. And uh, can always pause it then. So, so. Say. 
Sashi success. So, okay, there, there's one more coming after this one. And this is Se or Se. It's kind of me. It's always the same thing to pronounce it as Se. Let's practice writing it. <coughs> so, you have the horizontal line, then you go with one vertical line, then you go with the other and draw it to the right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The vertical line on the right, uh, sometimes the vertical line on the right has a slight tail formed when your pen lifts. Okay, let's, let's see the writing animation again. Okay, your pronunciation. C. 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 And let's just draw it one more time. God damn, sometimes they do really look horrible on my notice paper. And I'm gonna leave it like this. C. One more for everyone. Great. I somehow expected a message. I don't know why. Get ready for the next character. This is so. You pronounce this as so. No. So. Let's practice writing it. <coughs> so you draw a Z followed with a Z. You draw a Z followed with a Z. That's kind of easy. Practice uh, writing. Practice writing the character now. Sometimes make sure this character makes this character with just one stroke. Make sure to curve the last part properly. We're gonna take another look on it. Yeah. So. So. That's it. We finished this set of Yuragana. And also, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. These five characters, Sa, Shi, Su, Se, and So, are all quite commonly used to be sure to memorize them. Before we continue, yes, we want to save. I'm going to show you some common Japanese words written entirely in hiragana. Sound them out using the knowledge you have so far. Say the words out loud and you probably get the meaning right away. Here's our first Japanese word. You know these characters now. Can you guess what word it is? I'll leave you all a little bit of time while I'm writing it down. It's sushi. Sushi. Or oh, how, however you want to pronounce it. Sushi. Did you say sushi? That's correct. Sushi is the Japanese word that's known in many cultures. Sushi. Sushi is a popular dish made with raw fish. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. It will surely enhance your appreciation of Japanese. Damn, I love sushi. Here's our second Japanese word. It's a tough one. Sensei. Teacher. There's one character here we haven't learned yet. Can you spot it? Oh, it's an N. Yeah, it's an N. I, I, I cannot totally not read the N. The characters we haven't learned is the second there. N. It's a character for the letter N. Now that you know that, can you work out what the word is? If you're having trouble, break down and spell it out as it sounds like. It will look like this. Se -n -se -i. Sensei. Looks like we've written Sensei. Sensei is a word you've probably heard a lot in, Jap in movies and television. Sensei means teacher or master in Japanese. I'm just gonna write down this. Teacher. Sensei. Sensei is very commonly used in karate when addressing your master. Here's our third Japanese word. It's another tough one. There's one character we haven't learned yet. Can you spot it? It's uh, um, yeah, it's the second one again. It's uh, it's a ra, right? It's kara o k. This character we haven't learned is the second one there. Is the character for the syllable ra. 
Now that you know that, can you work out what the word is? It's karaoke. Looks like we've written karaoke. Karaoke is a fun singing activity. Maybe you visit a karaoke club or sang karaoke at home before. Karaoke. Enter karaoke. Alles, everything that's going to appear in the game will be written in my notebook. A vocabulary book. Did you know that the word karaoke originated from karaoke? Well, now you know. That's all for our Japanese words this lesson. Once we learn some Mori Oregano, we learn some new words. Do you remember our friend the Rakuten? This guy lets us change the sound of hiragana. You remember we used it on the car series of characters to turn the sound from K to G. Here's some good news. We can use Dakuten on our new Lilian SAS series. Adding Dakuten to the characters we learned in this lesson transformed the sounds from S to Z. I guess throw through your five characters and show you what they become when you add Dakuten. Damn, that's yeah. always just so many stuff. <coughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna drink again. <coughs> this is za. You pronounce this as za. Write za za as normal and then add your acute marks and the position shown on the image above. So let's answer that guy first. Okay. Yeah. You want me to pronounce it again? Yeah. Sa. Yeah. Sa. Everyone, uh, uh, I give you some time to, to write it down. A few more times I'm going to write it down too. Oh god, this, was, this looks horrible. This was actually kind of beautiful. I always use two times two squares on a squared paper sheet. I, I, I don't know actually how I sh should call them right now. Okay. Ah, practice writing. Start in your notebook now. This is G. You pronounce this as G. This character is an exception in this set. It's not a Z syllable. Just for everyone to notice. So we. Write G as normal, then add your Dakuten marks in the position shown in the image above. G. Do you want to, me to pronounce it again? Yes. G. 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 So let's draw it a few times. It's just a fishing hook how I'm drawing them all the time. A friend of mine always calls Japanese the uh, Emoji language. Okay, I'm getting hor more horrible and more horrible over the time. Time to stop this. This is Zoo. Or Zoo. You pronounce this as Zoo. <coughs> Write Zoo as normal, then add your curtain mark so in the position shown in the image above. Zoo. The zoo. 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 This is so totally weird. Practice writing zoo in your notebook now. We, we already learned this more or less, but never mind. We're just gonna write it down a few times to make it more accurate and to have something I can put on Twitter again. God damn it. This is Z. You pronounce this as Z. It's all, it's like write C and it's a Dakuten and you have Z. 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 I really should speed it up some time so. Or I feel like I should speed it up sometimes. So we're just gonna draw a C and it's a Dakuten. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five strikes are it. They kinda look beautiful sometimes and kinda look horrible as always. This one especially. But I'm going to continue now again. You can always feel free to pause it later. Yep. This is so art so your plants is so Right so as normal right so as normal then at your Dakuten Max. Yep. God damn it. Yep. So yep. So it's just our combination of that and C. And then you add the Dakuten. Actually, kind of great to go on with all of these. So maybe when my Japanese lesson now starting next year again, I'm more used to a family. Uh, I'm more familiar with writing here again as again. Because actually, I should already know how to write everyone, every one of them. But uh, I still like it somehow. That's where the game is now coming in. We now finished this set from this lesson. You've learned a total of 10 new hiraganas. You obtained study guide 3. Use this from the item menu to quickly realize this lesson. Okay. Let's wrap up the lesson. Great work. Let me guess. Now you're gonna quiz us. You know it. Oh man. Chen up, Leon. We need to realize what we've learned or we'll get our butts kicked next time we go out to battle hiragana warriors. Eric's right. Frankly, I want to learn as much as I can, as soon as possible, so I can give no a piece of my mind. All in due time. Let's focus on our quest. Question 1. What is this character? Is it a she? Is it a sa? Or is it a G? I'll give you all some time to think about, because I don't want to rush something. I'll give you the time you need to think about for yourself. And then I spoil her, it's a she. Correct. Well done. Question 2. What is this character? We have Sa, we have Se, and we have So. Sa, Se, So. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't do it like this. And I have to button smash it. Okay. It's a So. Correct. Well done. What is this character? Is it She? Is it O? Or is it K? Well, it's one of it's a vowel for sure. So. Oh no, nice pilot. So, what's the character for the English sound Su? So we have three sound, three options to choose from. I give you some time to just think about it. First tip is this sign in the middle is from the K K set of Uraganas. So it's either the top or the lower one. And uh, it contains Dakuten, so the only one remaining is the lower one. Correct, well done. What is the character for the English sound Sa? Uh, can you get it? They look all a little bit familiar. But they are different in total. Two of them got a Dakuten, one got another one. One of them is from the key row, so it's in all the, all the key set of hiragana, so it's no longer in the middle. But yeah, uh, I, I think you kind of guessed it right. There's not a Kuten and a Sa, so it's the top one. Correct, well done. Congratulations. You completed the quiz. Let's take a break from our study for now. Head into town and relax. If you need to stock up on items or equipment, be sure to do so. It might be a good idea now to look around for side quests. Ah, there we go. Our final side quest arrived. Side quests are optional tasks you can complete for rewards, and each side quest will teach you more Japanese. Try talking to people in town with exclamation icons above their heads. Make sure you check the inn and the tavern too. When you've finished exploring the town, come find me and we'll continue our study. So as you can finally see, this little exclamation marks are our side quests. That's actually more the point of 
the stuff I remember from my last playthrough. Because if I not talk to her, she's she already teach she's she was talking to Misaki too, and had her own teaching lessons or whatever. Misaki has been teaching me Japanese. It's so much fun, but so far I've only had a couple of greetings. Hey, I have an idea. I teach you the greetings I've learned, and then you can use them with people around town. That's what I'm going to write down now too. New quest started. Greetings. Yay, okay. Here's what I've learned so far. When it's morning, you can greet people with Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. That sounds... That's good morning. Listen again. Uh, I'm just going to... Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. I'm gonna write this down in my vocabulary book. Ohayou gozai. Must this looks horrible. Good morning. Next up, Konnichiwa. When it's daytime, you can greet people with Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Good. Day. I always translate it with hello for the middle time because cause I'm I never greet anyone with good day. Konnichiwa. 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 Okay. And the next up. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. When it's evening you can greet people with Konmanwa. Konbanwa. Konmanwa. That's good evening. Last again. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Kon ban wa good e whoops even then Kon ban wa no we don't want it that's all I've learned so far remember the three greetings for morning noon and evening Ohayo gozaimasu Kanichiwa and Kon ban wa to test your memory, talk to the people in this area. They will greet you in English and you need to respond in Japanese. Good luck. So I can go like... Good evening. Good evening. Konbanwa. Great, you got it. And now we talk with this little girl. Good morning. I, I give you some time this time. Because I don't want to rush it, it's either Konmanwa, Konnichiwa or Ohayo Gazamas. And of course it's Ohayo Gazamas. And last but not least, good day. Can you already guess it? It's Konnichiwa! Great, you got it! And once we're done, we go back to her. You did it! I'm so proud of my first student. To wrap up, I teach you how to say goodbye. Sayonara. Sayonara. That's goodbye. Listen again. Sayonara. 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 I'm gonna write this one down to Sayonara. Sayonara. Good. Bye. Yeah, and we get quest rewards, and now we have a check, and we get five bonus points. Now, I guess for the five bonus points, we got somewhere an explanation later too. Now we would have another quest, and in the inn we would have, or in the tavern we would have one too. Or oh, two too. We got two more quests there. But um, that's it for today. I guess I'm already. Oh, 149. Uh, let's. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna break. It was, it was a lot again. Oh, it feels like a lot. Also, I need to take a break. So, yeah, thanks everyone for the fun and um, be right back. <laughs>